Hello, and welcome to It's the Bible Trivia Show. I'm your host, Alan Wegener. Well, my TV audience out there might be asking themselves, what is the Bible Trivia Show? Well, it's a Bible quiz show for those of you who go to church on Sunday morning, listen to your minister preach from the Bible, or for you Bible college students out there and attend Bible college in this area and take in Bible classes, uh, this is a show for you to help you test the knowledge of how well you know your Bible. So with those uh, brief introduction um, for today's show, this is a special quiz show uh, today because this is a quiz show about the story and life of Jesus Christ. Now many of you probably have heard some of these questions if you've been following these quiz shows. You have probably heard these questions before. But it will help you to reinforce your knowledge and to see if you can recall those questions that I've asked before in uh, previous shows. So get yourself a nice warm cup of coffee. Come right back down in the easy chair. Relax, get your notes out, your pen, pencil, take notes for the ones you get right, and the questions you the ones that you mark mark the ones you have difficulty with. And we'll begin with question number one. True or false? Isaiah, the major prophet, said that Jesus would be called Wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace. Well, the answer to that one is true. The Bible says, For under us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. See Isaiah 9, 6. Question number two. True or false? Jesus is the enmity that God promised that he would put between the devil and Eve, the first woman. The answer is true. The Bible says in Genesis 3.15, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. See again, Genesis 3.15. Question number three. In what city did the prophet predict that Jesus, the Savior of the world, would be born? A. Jerusalem. B. Bethlehem. C. Cana. Or D. Nazareth. Well, the answer is B. Uh, the Bible says, and they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. See Matthew 2 5. And on the TV screen for my TV audience out there, again I have a, uh, a map of uh, where this location took place. And as you can see, the reports of having a good Bible atlas this morning. Question number four. What did lead the wise men to the place where Jesus was born? A. Street signs B. Word of mouth C. A star or D. Luck Well, the answer to that one is C. It was a star in the night sky that led the wise men to the place where Jesus was born. The Bible says uh, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. See Matthew 2.10. Question number five. How many wise men uh, came, came to be able to see Jesus uh, when he was born? Was it A, 12, B, 3, C, one, or D, many? Well, the answer to that one is D. 
There is no mention of the, uh, in the Gospels of, uh, of account of how many wise men came to visit Jesus when he was born. The Bible says this, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, there came wise men, plural, for men, from the east to Jerusalem. Uh, see Matthew 2.1. And it says, when, when they saw the star, they rejoiced, they being plural many. See Matthew 2.10. Question number six. Where did Jesus' parents flee to when God warned them in a dream about what King Herod was planning on doing with the children uh, who were two years and younger when he found out that the uh, wise men uh, deceived them and, and, and they did not uh, come back and tell them where Jesus was born? Uh, where did they, uh, Jesus' parents and him flee to? Was it A, Babylon, B, Nineveh, C, Egypt, or D, Damascus? Well, the answer to that one is C. Jesus' parents fled to Egypt as God instructed them. The Bible says, and there, then there were, and, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I have I called my son. See Matthew 2.15. Question number seven. Who was the father of Jesus? Was it A, Adam, B, Zacharias, C, Joseph, or D, God? Well, the answer to that one is D. God is the father of Jesus. While Joseph helped him raise him as his earthly father, God is his father. The Bible says, And when, the, when he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, lightning upon him, and lo, a, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. See Matthew 3.17. Question number 8. What direction did the wise men come from that came to see Jesus when he was born? A. North, B. South, C. West, or D. East? Well, the answer to that one is D. The Bible says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, behold, there came wise men from the east. See Matthew 2, 1, A, and C. Question number nine. What river was Jesus baptized in? A, the Tigris River. B, the Euphrates River. C, the Jordan River. Or D, the Chicago River. Well, the answer to that one is C. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. The Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by, of John in the Jordan. See Mark 1.8. Question number 10. Who was it that was not allowed to die until he was physically able to see Jesus and, and, uh, and say, For my eyes have seen thy salvation? Was it A. Joseph? B. John? C. Simeon? Or D. Zacharias? 
while the, the, the answer is C. The Bible says, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man who was just and devout, waiting for uh, the salvation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. See Luke 2.25. So how is my audience doing for those first set of ten questions? I hope you're uh, doing okay with them, getting them all right. If not, well, hey, keep taking notes on the ones that you need more work to study on. So we're going to take a brief PSA announcement, public service announcement from our local TV community station. So get yourself another warm cup of coffee. And sit right back down in the easy chair. And we'll be back uh, in a brief moment and uh, with more Bible trivia questions. Every pet comes with a unique set of hopes and dreams. And one common wish, a happy, healthy life. Start with early and regular visits to your veterinarian for vaccinations and disease protection. Regular exams help diagnose, treat, and prevent serious health problems. See that your new pet grows up healthy and happy. Call your veterinarian today. A message from your local veterinarians. And welcome back to the show. Continuing on with question number 11. Who was it that made a decree that all should be taxed at the time that Jesus was born? A. Tiberius B. Herod C. Felix or D. Augustus Well, the answer is D. The Bible says and it came to pass in those days that there were out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all should be taxed. See Luke 2 1. Question number 12. True or false? Jesus was never circumcised. Well, the answer to that one is false. The Bible says, and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus. See Luke 2.21. Question number 13. What did John the Baptist say when he saw Jesus? A. Here's Jesus, everyone. B. Hello, Jesus. C. Behold, the Lamb of God. Or D, nothing. He was speechless. Well, the answer to that one is C. The Bible says, The next day John seeth Jesus cometh unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. See John 1, 29. Question number 14. How many disciples did Jesus call to work with him in his earthly ministry? A. 7 B. 0 C. 12 or D. 3 Well, the answer to that one is D. Jesus called 12 disciples to walk, work, and learn from him. Question number 15. How many days and nights was Jesus tempted by the devil, and where was he tempted at? A. 21 days in Jericho. B. 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. C. 3 days and 3 nights by the Sea of Galilee. D. He was never tempted. Well, the answer to that one is B. The Bible says, Then Jesus was led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward a hunger. See Matthew 4, 1 and 2. 
Question number 16. How many Gospels are given as a written account of the life of Jesus? Was it A, 3, B, 12, C, 4, or D, 1? Well, the answer is C. There are four written Gospels in the New Testament that tell us about the life of Jesus. These four Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Question number 17. What was Jesus' first miracle? A. He raised Lazarus from the dead. B. He walked on the water. C. He healed a blind man. Or D. He turned the water into wine. Well, the answer to that one is D. Jesus' first miracle was that he turned the water into wine. The Bible says, And the third day there was a marriage at Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. The beginning of miracles, Jesus uh, in Canaan of Galilee. Uh, see John 1, 1 through 11. And on the TV screen for my TV audience out there, I have a, another map of where uh, this location of Canaan is located at. Question number 18. By whose well did Jesus speak to the Samaritan, Samaritan woman at? A. Was it Abraham's well? B. Jacob's well? C. Lot's well? Or D. The Samaritan's well? Well, the answer to that one is B. Jesus sat by Jacob's well. The Bible says, Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on this well. See John 4, 6. Question number 19. True or false? Jesus was not sent to the house of Israel. Well, the answer to that one is false. The Bible says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of Israel. See Matthew 15, 24. Question number 20. True or false? Jesus did not have any brothers or sisters. Well, the answer to that one is false. Even though Jesus was the firstborn, he still had brothers and sisters, siblings of his own. The Bible says, There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, seek for thee. See Mark 3.31 so how's my TV audience doing for those out of 10, and 10 questions? Again, I hope you're getting them all right. If not, take notes of the ones that you're having difficulty with. But we're going to take another brief PSA announcement, public service announcement, from our local TV community station here. So get yourself another warm cup of coffee. Come right back down, sit in your easy chair. And we'll be right back in a brief few moments with the final questions of Bible Trivia Show. a difference. Learn more at casafamilyday.org. And welcome back to the final quiz questions of today's show. Question number 21. 
What was the name of the first city Jesus came to after he left Galilee when John the Baptist was placed in prison? A. Cana B. Jerusalem C. Jericho or D. Capernaum Well, the answer to that one is D. The Bible says, And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum. See Matthew 4.13. Question number 22. Fill in the blank. Jesus said what to Martha before he raised Lazarus from the dead? I am what? and the light. A. Light. B. Hope. C. Resurrection. Or D. Love. Well, the answer to that one is C. The Bible says, Jesus said under, I am the resurrection and the light. See John 11, 25. Question number 23. How much did the ointment of spikenard uh, weigh that Mary used to anoint the feet of Jesus with? A. Half an ounce. B. A quarter of an ounce. C. One pound. Or D. Five pounds. Well, the answer I want is C. Uh, the Bible says, uh, Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spignard, and very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the order of ointment. See John 12, 3. Question number 24. Fill in the blank. What did Jesus say? He was when he came into the world. It says, I, come, I am come a blank to the world. Was it A, a dictator? B, a martyr? C, a rebellious person? Or D, life? Well, the answer to that one is D. The Bible says, that Jesus said this, I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth in me should not abide in darkness. See John 4, 12, 46. Question number 25. Who appeared to Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration and talked with him? Was it A, Moses and Joshua, B, Adam and Noah, C, Moses and Elias, who is also known as Elijah, or D, no one. It was just a dream. Well, the answer to that one is C. The Bible says this, And behold, there appeared unto him Moses and Elijah, Elias, talking with him. See Matthew 17, 4. Question number 26. And Matthew chapter 24, what did Jesus call the end time events? A. The Great Depression. B. The Great Recession. C. The Great Tribulation, or D, The Last Chance? Well, the answer to that one is C. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 21, For then shall be great, a great tribulation, such as not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor there ever shall be. Question number 27. What is the blood of Jesus as found in 2628 for the communion time? Is it A, 
a perfect sacrifice, B, it's for the remission of sins, C, a sign of saved believers, or D, just a symbol. Well, the answer to that one is B. The Bible says, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remissions of sin. See Matthew 24, 28. Question number 28. What was the question that Pilate asked Jesus at the time of his trial? A. Are you a sinner? B. Are you a troublemaker? C. Are you a cult leader? Or D. What is truth? Well, the answer to that one is D. The Bible says in John 18, 38, Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? And when he said this, he went out again to the to, to uh, the Jews and said unto him, them, I find no fault in him. Question number 29. How many thieves hung on the cross on the day that Jesus was crucified? Was it A, 7, B, 3, C, Two or D? Zero. Well, the answer I want to see. The Bible says in uh, John 19, 17, and 18, And he, bearing his cross, went forth into the place of a skull, which is uh, called in Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him, and two, of, uh, two other with him on either side, one and Jesus and the Mips. Also on the TV screen for my TV audience, I have um, uh, some pictures of the uh, place called Golgotha, which is also known as uh, the Mount of Calvary. And finally, the last question for today's show. How many days later did Jesus rise from the dead when he was uh, laid finally in the tomb and the sto stone was rolled in, in front of the entrance to seal it? Was it A, 1, B, 7, C, 3, or D, 12? Well, the answer to that one is C. So how do my TV audience out there do for today's uh, Bible quiz questions. I hope you did all right and that you're taking down notes on the ones you're having difficulty with, marking the ones you're getting right. But hey, it takes uh, years of study of the Bible to know um, the Bible uh, as well as you can. But it, uh, keep studying it, keep, uh, keep reading it, and eventually um, you'll be able to learn um, you know, the stories and the events and all these other things a lot better. So, with that, uh, those set of questions for today's show, I hope you have a great day, and I'm your host, Alan Wagoner.